blank, 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 blank. It's interchangeable. So oh, I guess it's, ano lang, who wants it more Mm-mm. for them? Sa tingin ko, ano eh, protect the ADR gaming din to masyado. Uh, may pagka-protect the Lucian gaming tong ano eh. Itong legacy. Lalo na yan dyan sa SS ni... Uh, uh, SS ni Alistar, tapos ni uh, Kindred. Tinan natin kung anong gagawin nila laban dito sa teleport gaming yung kumbaga responde gaming ng IPT dahil dalawa silang naka TP bukod sa may SS ang Gangplank may TP pa siya at yung Shen din may TP at ang ang Lisi na yan napakabilis gumalaw niyan in a matter of seconds magugulat ka na lang nandiyan na siya sa lane niyo yeah so tingnan natin ang strategy ang strategy ng Legacy dito kung paano nila lalabanan ang teleport gaming So I would think that Rox will focus more on either the bottom lane because he combos well with the Shadow Dash of the Chen, uh, of the Shen. Mm. You know, if he go uh, if the Shen goes in for the da- uh, for the dash, he can follow up with the resonating strike onto his opponents or even go in and safeguard to the Shen, possibly hit that um uh palm strike for the slow Dag-dag shield, no? Yeah. For the slowest well, double, double, triple, and triple he can shield. also combo into the mid lane because, in my opinion, early game because of the range advantage as well as you know the skill set of the Lux as well, Light might need some help for this gangplank to either stabilize the farm or to catch up in farm, or we'll see. You know, Light is a good mid lane player, but in most scenarios, I would say that in the early game, Lux can definitely bully out this gangplank. Sa tingin ko magkakatalo nanto sa jungle. Eh. Jungle talaga. Excited ako makita yung laro ni Kyokuk. Kanina pa siya ma-action. Feeling ko ma-action din siya mag-kindred. Yeah. Kasi dahil sa sword dance. Sword dance ba ang tawag? Dance of arrows. Dance of arrows. Sword dance pala. <laughs> Wala siyang skill. sword. Wala pala siyang sword. Meron pala siyang arrows. Oo nga pala. Oo, tas meron pa siyang neopet na kaibigan na yung wolf. Yeah. We have to dito. wait though. Kasi we've seen Kyokuk in these high... Or these really early ganking CC junglers, and as well as you know frontline junglers. But now he's on a ganking jungler as well. But it's more of on that carry side that's very squishy and easy to kill. Pre level six. Correct, correct. Yeah. Correct, Even correct, though, kait mamakaran na lamps respite, uh, respite, that does work on every champion. So everybody can benefit on this if they know how to properly use it. Mm. But Dala. we'll see if Kyokuk is a kindred player. Kung Haven't seen him on the kindred kasi. Yung, yung, yung legacy kasi may tatlong pang ane. Eh. pang op sa takihin nyo ko like for example si Lisandra yung SS niya si tatlong SS yan eh na atakihin nyo ko kahit si Alistar no pero meron din naman yung ano isa sa IPT so siguro ang tactics nila dito maubos yung skill ng IPT kumbaga magamit nila yung mga pang counter ano nila maubos yung skill ng IPT tsaka gogo yung Lucian yeah oh The composition of Legacy does allow for a lot of safety, especially with mm. the essence of the Lissandra going on to herself. Correct. There's the Lamb's Respite. Mm-mm. There is also, of course, the Alastar just being, you know, that Alistar. CC, yeah, the CC support in that bottom lane. Tapos may shield pa yung Lux na lalakas yeah, exactly. na lalakas over time. Yeah. Well, tinan natin mga kaibigan! Eto na! <coughs> Loading screen time! Game 3, MPGL Season 7, oras na mga kaibigan. Yes, so guys, nasa Twitch chat natin, kamusta na kayo? Ang dami natin nakikitang chat ngayon. Very active, you know, considering, the, uh, comparing for the last few chats. Again, shoutouts out there to my comrades. If we still have Neep, Riku, and Kairu in the chat. Okay, mga kaibigan. Yes, as well as I think, uh, shoutouts out there to PewDiePie, PewDiePie PH. He has said hi, Asurai, a while ago, wasn't able to reply. So now that it is Game 3. Game 3. So nah, Let's go. Moment of truth for Imperium Pro Team and Legacy. So in the blue side, we have IPT in the top lanes. Going to be Suez on that Lulu in the jungle. Rocks with the Lee Sin. In the mid lanes, going to be Light with the Gangplank. And in the bottom lane duo, we have Haith. For that silver and his support will be Poi Sanity on the Thresh. And para naman sa legacy mga kaibigan, si Sadis bilang si Lissandra sa top, si Kyokuk bilang Kindred sa jungle, si Loop KR bilang Lux sa mid, si Hope for KR bilang Lucian sa ADR, at si Football 10 pesos lang na nag-alistar. Yeah. Tingnan natin dito. Alright, so I guess before we do start the stream, truly start the stream, 
Shoutouts out there dun sa... Wait, no, wala bigla yung chat. <laughs> Ang daming nag... No, good. I'll get back okay. to you guys on that after the game. Alright, so... Uh, may nagtatanong, kailan daw lumalaban ng La Liga? Mamaya po! Ah, after uh, this game. After for this sure. game. So, manood dun sa mga... Manood ka lang po, mga kay, uh, yeah. kayo. Manood lang po kayo. Mamaya, La Liga versus La Liga Pilipinas versus Imperium Ayun, Pro Team dun Blue. Ayun, dun sa Boy Shari. Boy yeah, Shari! Okay. <laughs> As for pa shout out sa mga DBT. So sa mga DBT talik papa shout out si Boy Shouty. Sup dude? So again, sa mga nagiintay for the La Liga match, they will be going against Imperium Pro Team Blue, the sister team of, of course, obviously IBT. Okay. So buti naman sa pag sa pagtingin natin Twitch chat hindi nagano mga players natin. Hindi na tayo mga pag chill. Mag chill oh, mo na sa mga chat, mga viewers natin oh, ngayon. Oh, share nyo yung stream. Di lam pwede kayo manood. Bawal maging shellfish. Share nyo yan. Sabihin nyo, manood kayo. Oras na. Hashtag oras na. De, joke lang. Pero share nyo yan sa mga kamag-anak nyo kahit di nila naiintindihan yung lol. Sabihin nyo, ito po pinagkakaabalan ko sa buhay. Yeah. Kasi <laughs> kung gano'n ka din kalaki ang League of Legends ngayon sa ibang bansa as well. I believe sa Korea may dedicated channel sila for esports or if not only League of Legends. Eh. Well, ito. Namumula agad si Light sa Chane. Nitong si Lux. Yeah, exactly. Dahil dyan sa Thunderlord. Oh, Thunderlord's Gaming. Uy, pero nagkasalbong dito. Ay, na pinapap na ang second skill ni Kyoko. Oops. Yeah. And there you go. Kyoko okay, immediately with the counter... Or, yeah, the counter jungle. Invading rocks just to make him a bit uncomfortable. Though rocks did finish his red buff relatively quickly. But Kyoko okay, here wanted to get that Grabe raptor. Grabe ito si Kyoko. Kung napaka-aggressive <laughs> naman. Alam niyo po na si rocks. Pero ito, tinan natin. Oh my god, it's last oh, nice splash! Mga kaibigan, mula kay Kyoko. Tingnan Light natin kung kabot siya ni Light. Oh okay, my god, raptors! Okay, siya dito ng raptor, mga kaibigan. Raptor, kampi ka namin. Isa pa, dalawa pa. Oops. Grabe, wow. hype agad yun. Easy. Clutch light binding from Loop KR. Mm, buti na lang tumama yung ano, first kill ni Loop. Pero ito, nagkakachanihan dito si Sadis at si Suez. Ay, kung kanina, napansin. Oops, teka oh lang. Oh my god, Suez. Pahit na lang, Suez. Wow. Well, kung kanina, napan napansin ko ngayon, parang Asurai. Kanina, yung mga top nila, mga heavy guts, no? Tapos ngayon yeah. naman, mga int type na si Suez at si Sadis. Grabe. Versatile. Yeah, that's what you want in the top lane in this meta. Before, nung dumabas sa mga AD items, as well as, you know, the Fiora getting quite a rework. It's more of like the duelist top laners. But but now, it's all about, you know, going back to their roots from like season, no, season 5. Because I think bukas nata si 6.1. Bukas na? I, th I think, mm, I think. Okay. Not sure guys, can you come and confirm that? Because napakabaga ng interview ko sa bahay. Hindi ko talaga makita kung ano nangyayari ngayon sa ating... Komunidad. Pero ito naman sa baba, chill chill gaming lang mula sa Dr. Shen. Laban sa Alice. Keystone ng GP. We'll check. I okay. don't think I can truly check Makikita that. Makikita ba yun? Alam ko hindi pag sa spectator mode eh. Pero ito, nagkaka-chanihan lang dito Actually, wait. We can check. Wait. Okay, okay so it's a uh, dead fire touch. Mm, okay. bas na ante yung... Uh, cool down timer and here's Oops, the gang by Rox. Na si Rox mga kaibigan. Nino normal si Loop tinan natin pero nandoon si Kyoko kung katatitipis sa Oh, sa Adis. Si Sadis mga kaibigan. Walang namatay doon. Napakagandang responde mula kay Sadis at kay Kyoko. Munti ka na si Loop doon mga kaibigan. Yeah, and checking out then yung lane itself. It actually is pushing into the wave of Suez. So, Sadis even teleporting into that mid lane won't lose too much as he returns to this top lane. It will the wave will bounce into his favor. So he's still looking for blood. 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 He's Rocks. 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 Pero si Kyoko, oh my Ay, god, he's still looking for blood. 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 Yeah, so Rocks getting caught out there. It was nice though that Poisonity was getting tired of how Keokok was always in the jungle of Rocks. Granted, na if it just went a little bit more in favor of, or rather, kung mas madaming tao don ang IPT, it would have gone into their favor. Pero grabe kanina pa ina aggressive jang ano yun na kanina pa ini invade ni Keokok yung jungle. 
lisin. Ginugulo niya. Ayaw niya talaga lumakas yung lisin eh. Yes. Mag ayaw niya maging ma-action yung laban. Yeah. Ha? Kasi oh. yun din ang problema nga ng, ng sa lisin. He is a very strong early game champion. But when he reaches, you know, the mid game as well into that late game, he doesn't scale as well as uh, uh, as other, uh, as Kindred rather. Oops. Yeah. So, Kasi ano eh, pag medyo na lockdown mo yan, hindi yan makakaresponde kagad. Mabilis gumalaw yan eh. Pag hindi niya nakuha yung mga items niya agad, hindi siya makaka-dash in, dash out kagad. So yeah. medyo, may, medyo may advantage ang legacy dito. Pero easy lang muna mga papi. Yeah, though, at least naman. Oops. So wait. Oh, napakagandang SS mula kay Suez mga kaibigan. Wala pang SS si Sadis. Mukhang mahabol niya dito. Normal part Keo 1. Kuk. Oops, si Keo Cook malapit. Nakita niya ata sa mapa. May wise balloon. Sanity here. Oops. He has flash. Ayan natin. Oh, Oops. nice connect. Oh. Nag-SS ang ano. Ang gank lang sa mid. Tinan natin kung ano normal niya dito si Luke. Ah. Alright, so Poisanity will get the last hit. But that will allow Light to, you know, for Light to at least farm freely in this mid lane oh, as Poisanity relieves the pressure in that lane itself. So Luke KR does have teleport to immediately res uh, go back into the mid lane itself. Walang pabalik na dito ang Lisanda na kanina na pumula. Ito na, ito na sa mid. Mukhang magkakaroon ulit ng bakbakan. Pareng nga Surai, tatlo na sa mid. Pero ito si Luke. Oops. He had vision of Poisanity there though. So Kaya alam nga. nila, nanandun siya. Pero sinasahe ko nila eh. Chinani niya, di ba? Yeah. So they're just forcing Keo here. But the problem now is that Hain here is getting bullied in this bottom lane. He has 40 CS to the 64 of Hope for KR. So Ay, all yan. of this pressure that they're putting for Light or yeah, all this support that they're putting in for Light in the mid lane is actually starving hate in that bottom lane as you can see right now that Oops. over KR is pretty ahead in terms of CS yes. and I believe so in gold 400 kumbaga parang 2 kills yan ang CS na lamang nila yan yeah around that much pero, pero pag bumalik naman si ano oh pero ito na tinan natin oops easy easy papi di eh napabalik na di ito na mukhang go go for bot ang Shen at at ang Lee Sin mga kaibigan Tinan natin si Poisanity pero nagtitipi na dito si Lulu. Mukhang igugaw na nila itong bot. Tinan natin kung sinong itotot nito. Pero ito oh, na lang. Wow. Mukhang flash mula kay Luke mga kaibigan. Nabasa niya. Another clutch flash there clutch coming flash. out of Hope for KR. Nakita natin kanina sa kanyang Lucian in Game 1. He's doing it again in hmm. Game 2. Or Game 3 rather. Yung mga flash in flash out niya. Pan dodge no? Yeah, I guess I, I could understand that when they IPD that they allowed at least hate to immediately get a level six because poisonity wasn't there. Problem there though was that IPD don't really have a true initiator unless Shen hits his shadow dash and Suez. Kita kita nila na lagita lapor sa bottom lane, so they know already that there's gonna be a gank there, even if they had no vision at all. The teleport uh, animation was just showing itself. Well, buti ka mo, ano, uh, may flash siya doon. Huli sila doon eh. Pero yung Lee Sin ata, hindi pa level 6 noon. Kasi tumama yung ano niya eh. Yeah, exactly. Wala well, din siyang level 6 noon. Oh, I believe they were both level 5. Oh, tuma kung tumama yung first skill niya eh. Siguro kung level 6 siya, may chance pa nilang habulin yun sa ano. Yeah. Sa Torre. You have to note though that going in with a gank gank against a Lux, in just terms of, you know, the late matchup itself, not really the best of times here for Light. I don't think that Light can go for something like an Azir as well if he wanted to, but goes in with that Gangplank. Though Gangplank does have, you know, the response with the Oops, ultimate and the damage. Pero ito, mukhang mamamatay si Suez. Normal wow. na, pakanggan ang SS mula kay Sides. PC! As... Medyo luma... Uh, medyo... Uh, hindi pa naman, pero 1k lamang ang gold ang ano. Dahil lang sa kills to. Hindi bang natin, ano, huwag natin sabihin ano lang ang isa lang. Yeah, they have an advantage, but hindi naman yung sinasabi natin na game-winning na agad. Balikan dun sa sinasabi mong Gangplank. Yeah, Gangplank does have the damage, especially when he gets a Triforce. Anybody have an Essence Reaver if you like to make it with that, because that's how I build my GP. Problem though is that he is not yet in a situation where he can use that damage. Pero sa tingin ko sa ngayon, sa laning niya, medyo, well, Gangplank passive laning yan eh, no? Hirap lang siya siguro ng spam yung ano niya, yung mga barrels niya. Yeah, exactly. Kasi ubos agad yung creeps ng ano, 
Ubus agad yung creeps niya sa lane dahil kaya is pamagad ng lock eh. Kasi si Gangplank, ihintayin niya pa mag ano eh. Mag cooldown. Mag Oo, yung barrel niya. At hihintayin niya pang dalawa yung barrel. Yeah, Bago though, siya makapagspa. Meron siyang saving grace dito sa mid lane. That is the parlay. Gives you bonus. Yung orange gold. juice. Yeah. Oo. Gale cook there. Wow. Uy, uy. Oops. Okay. Doesn't even... Doesn't even flinch. Doesn't even use that Lance Respite. Just goes for the flash. Will save himself. Still no Dragon or Rift Herald for these two teams. And... It's 11 minutes in the game. Score natin ng mga Legacy. Ng 2000. Dalawa, at labang sila ng 2,000 sa gold. Medyo lamang din sila sa pag-control ng lanes dito. Nagpupush ang tatlong lane ng Legacy habang ang IPT naman ay naka-tower hug. At ito, ayan o, oh, lane control o. Oh. Hinihintay nilang lumabas yung creeps bago nila normalin para hindi po more ward. Para sa tore lang talaga. Oh. Calling comes wow! out of for KR. Perfect CS! Yeah. Mula kay Hope or KR. Ganun yan. Hindi na yun yan. Kanina para building shit na papin. So, now the game has slowed, slowed down a little bit. But... Look at this, Kayoko immediately as I say that goes in and makes a Ooh. move for Dragon, making na the Imperium Pro team here a little bit cautious. Malayo ang ano, Jason dito para nga sa lane. Yeah, they're gonna spot him in that mid lane brush. So, will Kayoko follow up this Dragon? Oy, din okay, din niya na. Okay, tingnan natin kung nakuha niya to. Pero ito, wow, Sue is again getting caught out. Napakita ng SS pero papalagyan natin siya ni Suez dito. Normal. Oops! Uy! Buti na lang. Flash, nice flash boy. Pero nakuha ng legacy ang DR. Yeah, they Kiyoko. already knew what Rox was. So, and of course, the power of that Kindred to just get the immediate kills onto high HP objectives because of the passive. Oops. Oh, Sanity going in onto Hope for KR though. Okay. Chill lang yan eh. Uy, pero grabe yung damage niya ano ha. Hope for KR ha. Naka Thunder Lords din siya, grabe. Two, three hits lang yun. Kalahati kagad ng buhay niya, ano? Yeah, of course. It's the... It's the favored keystone talaga. Kay Lucian, no? Or for any ADCs as of now. Uh, well, sabi sa... Uh, sabi nga nila, kapag ADC ka na caster, sobrang favorable talaga ang ano, Thunder Lords decrease. Kasi yeah. kada chani mo, may kuryente, dagdag yun. Actually, for any um, caster, any ADC that can do an immediate three hits. Mm. Oh my God! Oh hey, my so God! Much damage. Hey, tinamaan niya. Hinuli niya lahat ng SS ni Lucian. Napakaganda na flashing mula kay Lucian pero nag-SS dito ang gang lang. Tingnan natin kung papalag pa Lucian. Nag-DP si Sadis mga kaibigan. Napakaganda sa mula kay Sadis. And Glacial Pat out. Wow! Ganda legacy manhandling okay, Imperium legacy. Pro Team there. Mm. Grabe. Ngayon lang ako Oops. nakita ng kalabaw. Uy! Napakagandang sipa pero si Kyoko may SS pa yan. Invulnerable time mga kaibigan. At hinintay niya ang baka. Kaso sa umabot ang baka. Nice play from Kyoko. Nice play by Raux. Yeah. So ngayon lang nakakita hmm. ng kalabaw na nagda-deliver ng kills para tumaba <laughs> si Lucian. So, Siyempre ganun talaga. Kailangan ng mga farmers delivery. yan. Eh. Yes. Kaya kumbaga farmer, kumbaga ADC farmer. Ano ba si Lucia? Farmer, Kalabaw, Matic yun, Pinoy Gaming, Pinoy's. Diba? Tama nga naman. Pampansang ano yan eh. Pampansang hayop yan ng Pilipinas, ang Kalabaw. Yeah. I like that synergy though. Oh. Honestly, uh, truth be told, I like the synergy for coming from Hope, K for Hope for KR and Football 10 pesos lang. Oh, so, no. Kanina pa yan sila nagpapakita ng anong magandang... Yeah. Boy, Sanity not really the best, or rather the Shen not really the best in terms of saving hate in that situation, especially even with the good Shadow Dash. Just the tankiness of the Alastar. Easy pickoffs for the Lucian. Going for Herald Data, oops. Hindi. Naspotted, spotted Data sila dito eh. Ay, hindi, hindi, hindi. Oops. So, easy pa lang mga kaibigan. 2K ang lamang ng legacy. Pero in terms of map control, medyo lumalamang lamang sila dito. At pati sa DR. Pero eto na. Sinasabi natin kanina si Sadis mga kaibigan. Ang in-time is in-time. Grabe! Yung SS niya, pinang papatay niya. Imbis na pinang liligtas niya. Oh, Q sa mukha! Oh, 
Ito na pero ito ang Shen Liligtas kita Friendship Pero may nagtitip dito Ang Lux mga kaibigan Nag-taunt out ang Shen Mga kaibigan Poy Sanity Oh hindi tumama Ang stun ng Lux mga kaibigan Pero na-slow siya Legacy now with the commanding league of 3,000 as well as putting IPT on the ropes. There is no answer for Sadis, no answer for KO Cook. That is just allowing hope for KR as well as Duke KR to farm and pressure the lanes to their heart's content. Medyo lumalamang dito yung ano, akala natin kanina, akala ko kanina, protect gaming dito ang Legacy. Yung pala sila yung nag aggressive Si Sadis, hindi niya ginagamit pang ano yung SS niya eh, pang save. Well, he doesn't, niya, oh. yeah, doesn't really need to because Suez oh. doesn't have the damage to kill him. Suez going in for the Frost Queen's claim, so full utility. Uh, or Lulu is in his disposal, not against, you know, Sadis, who only needs to build himself uh, a little bit tanky with a lot of Aegis and possibly, of course, you know, the... Um, the stable or the core item zoning his hourglass to make him a threat in the clash as well as in the 1v1s. Correct, correct, correct. Uh, lugi ata ang ano eh, nalugi ang uh, um, IP dahil dun sa nangyari kanina kay, uh, kay DC. Uh, nahuli siya ni Kyo sa yeah. red buff nila. Dahil dun, feeling ko nasira na yung rotation niya. Umpisa pa lang yun ha, pero... That, that was just, ano eh, two times siya nahuli dun eh. One was with Keo Cook, and then Keo Cook and Luke KR, but Luke KR got the second kill. And yun na, sabi mo na, na-shake up na onte si Rockstone, and he couldn't actually find the ganks for him to work with because napakahirap i-gank ni Sadis sa top lane. Again, Suez doesn't have the damage, and Rocks with those two counter jungles, just starved him in terms of his, you know, of the, what we expected, early game damage coming out of the Lee Sin. Correct. Bali dahil dun sa nangyari yun, hindi nila magagawa yung TPTP gaming nila. Well, nagawa nila kanina sa baba, pero isang beses pa lang eh. Yung nag SS yung gangplank. Pero tingnan natin. Ito na, magkakaroon na ata ng PR. 40 seconds, pero ito nag-ahabol dito. Si Sadis, sinaabri niya na si Suez. Yeah. Grabe. I would think the only hope here for IPT, as of now, would be the gangplank. He is at least steadily farming. Tamang mm, sustain na yan. Yeah, as well as his barrels can do very good amounts of work with the Trinity Force finish. There is, of course, hate with the Essence Reaver, though, of course, the Sivir for now would be more off on the hunt and if he gets caught out. And oh. it's possible because there's so many players here or champions here for the side of Legacy that can, ha that can happen with at least. You know, it's still very sketchy here for IPT. Oh, medyo, ano sila, yung sinasabi natin kanina yun kay, kay Gangplank na pwedeng siya yung may possible na damage, na pwedeng siya yung mag-carry muna. Medyo, para sa akin, hirap din yan eh. Kasi Gangplank yan eh, asa yan sa positioning ng ano eh, ng mga barrels at sa positioning ng kalaban. So, kailangan niya ng tagaset. Yeah. Well, yung, yung tagaset nila ngayon, which is si, si Lee Sin tsaka si... Shen, Shen. Shen. Medyo wala pa masyadong nagagawa and hindi pa madalas nagka-clash. Usually puro gang pa lang. So tina yeah. natin kung magagawa and ni Gangplank. Ang nagiging problema din kasi dito Potential. for IPT is that they're expecting Keoko to initiate the ganks but hindi kinakailangan ng mga members ng Legacy na gawin to. It's always about saddest as well as Football, Tempest na lang and Loop KR initiating and then nagka-follow up din si Keoko with his utility to just stick to the champions that they go in on to okay. and this is allowing Keiko to farm freely oh, oops wow hindi na steal pero mukhang mamamatay dito si Roax tina natin tinamaan ng key mga kabigan flash out pero nag wards dito tina natin kung ahabol dito SS for Luke Hope KR though mag SS ata pero napakagandang kami hami wave mula kay Luke KR hindi pala si Hope KR ang mag SS <laughs> akala ko si Hope KR eh akala ko babarilin in your words nga pare sinasay ko lang tayo oh. Parehas pa sila, KR. Oy, tumama pa yung stun kay Hate. Oy, pero napakaganda flash out. Nag ito, ito yung sinasabi ko sa'yo, si Light O. O, yun lang. O, barrel. Barrel gaming. O, yun. Yun yung, yun yung kanina. Kaso, wala pang tagaset. Yeah. May damage eh. Yun ang ngayon. And again, back to what we're saying about the junglers before we go about anything else. That is just allowing Keoko to build his items and then, you know, just stack up the damage 
that Legacy have already made for themselves. So, tumatas na damage nila in terms of every single aspect of their of their roles. Sa mid lane, sa jungle, Oy! sa ADC, as well as top lane. Tsaka, yun nga, sinabi mo, hindi siya yung kailangan mag-initiate. If ever mag-initiate man yung mga kampi niya, then malugi sila, may SS siya. Para pang nintas ng kampi niya. So, medyo tagilid dito. Para sa akin, tagilid dito ang IPT. Kailangan nila makapitas muna. Lamang ang ano, ang LGC ng 8 kills at almost 4k, 5 to k, 4 to 5k gold. Yeah, I would think talaga that IPT with their composition could have made it even more to their liking if they had another control mage in that mid lane. Because Light, in my opinion, he's a pretty good control mage player. Alright, so now Sadis here might get caught out. Let's have his SS though. Bawi dito ang ano IPT. Alright, so with that, it looks like IPT at least stable or you know at least stave off the pressure that Sadis has been doing in the top lane. This might allow Suez for some free farm and possibly the top tier too. As we do see that Poisanity, Rocks, and Suez are positioning themselves in this lane, though that just might be for them to get more free pickoffs. There's, they do see that one ward, so they know that one person, or rather, oh no, one or two persons are in the jungle aside from Suez. Suez, Oops. oh! Suez that's almost gets caught out by the light binding. Naku! Numormal pa siya ng creeps, pero... Okay, na natin. Oops! Natont dito si Football 10 pesos lang. Nag-DDP dito si Lissandra. Sino kaya ang tatarget nila? Si Lee Sin, mga kaibigan. Pero change target na bigla si Lissandra. Dito natin kung may SS niya si Suez para makabol. Pero Spooky Ghost Gaming... So they will Uy, get pero, the one kill onto oh, Rocks, but oh my oh, god, the calling from Hope KR! Matrix Evolution! Yeah, yeah naman na yung skin niya, no? Uh, hired Gun Lucian. Si Morpheus yun. Oh! <laughs> but yun si Wesley Snipes, pero oh. I think Morpheus oh. dahil dun sa O. Oh, nice Uy, grabe! Shot. Kalahati agad. Pero ito, na-assist at si Suez, mga kaibigan. Mukhang mga, mga matay siya dito, dalawa dito. Ang legacy, goodbye, my friend! Yeah, so it's working out well for LGC as they now have almost 6,000 above lead against IPT and IPT have no answer for how Legacy are playing out right now because their composition doesn't allow to counter the Legacy uh, playstyle. They have no disengage. Lulu can, you know, can you... Can, you can say the wild growth can be used as a disengage tool, but they're looking for something that can push away opponents, and they don't have something like that. Chen has the shadow dash, but that's not enough because, well, the taunt duration cannot stop the aggression coming out of LGC. They're trying to go in for the tried and tested IPT split push, but hope for KR can one v one hate. If hate gets caught out, he's good. I know one v one against hope for KR. Hope for KR will win. Well, nakakapitas naman, pero paunti-unti. Pero tingnan natin kasi kanina, ah, parang ganito din yung position ng IPT nung first game. Medyo nalulugi sila in terms of map control, pero muntik nila mabaliktad, pero nabaliktad pa sila. So, hindi yan, hindi yan magpapatalo. Yeah, syempre. So, sabi ko nandito yung facts na nakita natin. Ngayon, there's also still a chance for IPT. Though, I have said the truth that they are having quite a bit of trouble on how to deal with the playstyle of Legacy and Rooks! Oops. You have the Cinderhawk, man. You're taking Baron Aggro. Kung nakita ka dun ng members ng Legacy, Loop KR has Final Spark. <laughs> well, na, na si, feeling ko nasira talaga yung laro ni DC. Sa, sa, nakadismaya yun. Ikaw, jungle main ka, di ba? Yeah. Parang aso, right? Anong, anong ano mo, tips mo sa mga ganong pangyayari sa buhay ng mga LOL players na? Yung umpisa pa lang, sira, kumbaga nag-up ka na dahil di ka na mag-jungle. I guess yung pinaka masasabi ko ngayon, never lose focus sa jungle. Kasi kung nangyari sa'yo yun ng early game, patuloy-tuloy, mag-tilt ka talaga eh, for sure. Ang nangyari kasi sa kanila, nung, nung nasira yung jungling niya, lagi nagka-clash. So, dahil wala pa siya namang level, wala pa siyang eh, ano, nalulugi sila. I, yeah. I think ah, yun yung nangyari. So. And, ito doon ang titake ng Tatan. Sinabi ko na ito kanina mm. that Legacy have a lot of damage 
champions in their lineup. They have the Lissandra, they have the Kindred, they All have right. the Lux as well as the Lucian. And in this four lineup, two of those are actually bruisers who can save themselves with the ultimates. The Frozen Tomb for the Lissandra and then the Lamb's Respite or Respite for that Kindred. So there's so much uh, amount of survivability coming in from the side of Legacy and they can just use that to the advantage even more because IPD now are lacking damage. This Essence Reaver RFC build for hate oh. is more... Wait. Okay, so they got the uh, Dragon there. The is IPD. more for just his safety in the early uh, in his first strike then but pumasok siya and Sivir relatively has really not the best of range he, he is an easy target for legacy to go in and as for light he's dealing good damage but he's not dealing enough damage that his barrels alone can carry them the game he has to look to his ADC Suez not really in the best of situations to be that follow-up damage team during the top lane because he was forced to go in with a rod of ages rather than uh, probably a Moral Anomicon into uh, Luna's Echo or Ravenous Deathcap. So now he's well lacking damage in terms of the AP for the top lane of IPT. Oh, eh, pero yung AP yung damage naman kasi ni Lulu hindi burst. Eh. Ano eh, duration yung damage niya eh. So, hindi sila agad makakapitas. I mean, makakapitas sila kung marami sila. Pero yung tipong si Lulu lang yun nandun tapos may isa siyang kasama, hindi nila kagad mapapatay. Unlike nito ni Lissandra, Ilang beses niya na ginugoto si Lundo eh. Yeah, so this is again, well, IPT's weakness that kung sa late game na sila and they're on the ropes, they always go in that hate will split push. Oh! Alistar, mag-isa dito, football 10 pesos lang. Ito ang nice guys, slow siya ng mga barrel, pero ito na. He's so dying. Ito kami ng LGC, mga kaibigan na mo. Alistar, di na napatay, pero nag-SS dito si Lucian. Matrix Evolution, mga kaibigan. Yeah, but the problem now for uh, Legacy here is that they have no one to deal with for sanity, or rather for hate, and he's pretty easy to deal with. The Hope or KR, if they go in for that, you can easily defeat them. So now, if they actually get this Baron, this will at least stabilize that if uh, hate can get that bot tier 2, the power recall will just allow them to save the bot tier 3 if ever. Ika-clash dito ng IPD, mabolado yung LGC. Pero ito, nag-SS dito mga kaibigan. Si Poisani dito naman ang kami ami wave mga kaibigan. Pero nakit na dito si Lisandra Pero ito na, tumatakbo na mga kaibigan ng IPT. Tumakbo na kayo mga friendship. Nag-aabol na kami. Back tayo ka boy. Poisani dito, nasan ka na? Uy, pero nakabasag dito ang IPT. Tabaho lang gaming. Pero oh my god, ng wow. Lux gaming mga kaibigan. Tinan natin kung bebe I'm worth it. Ang pag-push. So, ni Sibir sa baba. That was a nice play coming in from IPT, but Legacy with the proper uh, positionings for the clashes dominated IPT there. That was a 4 5 situation. It was looking though that Legacy might have lost that because Hope for KR and other members of Legacy were taking so much damage from the Baron, but they finished it off because IPT weren't dealing enough damage. Hate was in the bottom lane with the Sivir pushing. He got, he got the bot tier 3. He wasn't able to translate that into inhibitor. It opens up the base of Legacy, but now Legacy has a five-man Baron Dub team. They can just push all of the lanes That's of Imperium Pro Team, and Imperium Pro Team will not be able to get out of their own base. That's how well his Legacy have played out that Baron play. IPT were trying to pressure them, but they did not budge. Sayang yon. Pulado kasi yung Legacy dun eh. Dalawa pulado sa kanila eh. Kailangan na talaga i-clash ng IPT yun. Eh, wala. Masyadong, kagaya nga sinabi mo, kinulang sa damage power. Sayang ang push ng Sibir, no? Sayang. Yeah. Pero, well, natin. natakot kasi din si Hayton. He didn't want to overcommit to that inhibitor because if he died, that might, you know? Tapos na. May possibility ng ano. Could be, could be. But hmm. medyo low HP na rin yung mga members doon ng Legacy. Or, yung possibility that he... he with overcommitted that inhibitor, and then hindi niya pa mat pa matapos to as the other members of Legacy would just kill him. Oh, it's going to be the push here. Oh, oh pero grabe chani wow. yan yan mga kaibigan mo sa LGC. Papi chulo grabe. Eto na papaso ko ni Sandra. Oops. So it looks like. LGC are looking to finish this off. Oh. Top inhibitors open Top as well as the bottom one. Oh. Mid na lang. Is this the final stand? X-Men na babaki na ngayon dito for the side of IPT. Tingnan natin. Kaya pa yan, IPT. 
good damage from the Barrels of Light though, but... Yun nga, si, yun nga sinasabi natin, hindi yeah. yan, hindi sapat yan eh. Para sa akin, hindi yan sapat. Kasi yan lang. Kung baga, after yan, anong gagawin mo? No normal. Pero syempre, kailangan mo ng tag-attack. Eh, wow, Suez! Suez! Nang laser, mga kaibigan. Football, 10 pesos lang. Naging pusa, mga kaibigan. Si Light, namumula dito. Si Ro Rawax, invulnerable time oh, para Suez. kay Kyoko. Patay si Suez, si Hate. Tumatak po, mga kaibigan. Dalawa na tiram para sa IPT. At mukhang tatapusin na ng legacy ang laban, mga kaibigan. The respawn timers on the side of IPT is just too long and the members of uh, Legacy here are still pretty healthy and they have damage to finish Grabe, off these. Oh my god, yan. he's taking so much damage! Grabe! Pero, he just goes down. Oh, wala. It's a GG. Sorry wow. para sa mga IPT fans. Sayang. The comeback is real, mga kaibigan. From comeback nila at nakambak sila and nakakambak sila sa game 2 sadyang hindi nila kinaya wow ang um, that was an intense game the legacy yeah i just have to say talaga legacy played that out so well na even in the early game they were hoping that rocks in at least in would or rather ipt were looking to rocks to provide the early game pressure because he is a lee player though legacy had a plan in their minds that Ito nga, si Lee sinaunahin natin. First kill went on to Keokok. Followed up by another counter jungle by Keokok and Loop KR. Loop KR gets the kill. And then, dun na nawala ang pwede maging pressure ni Light sa mid lane because we sabi na nga natin na medyo nalulugi siya because of how the Lux range works. Mm -mm. Not, he is being forced back. His CS um, a while ago was, I think, 20 CS behind of the Lux. Stop lane naman. Yeah, like 24. that. Stop lane naman. Saddest was in a very easy spot because of how powerful the Lissandra is against the Lulu. Yes, merong wild growth on Lulu, but it's only, it's not enough to save him against the the bulliness, uh, the bully potential of the Lissandra. Baka takas nga siya, but then Lissandra is left in lane to farm as well as get all of that XP. So, in top lane, it's all good for them. And then sa bottom lane, boy, Sanity got a lot of good ganks in mid lane. Granted na yun. But the problem for that was hate in the bottom lane against Hope for KR on a bully Lucian who can put out all of his skills as well as football 10 pesos lang with the dives and the very good um, follow ups of his own skills just dom uh, demolished hate in that bottom lane. He couldn't farm up for the duration of the laning phase. He was, uh, I think, 40 to 70 CS against Hope for KR. Oh, kanina, Na lamang siya ng 500, 500 yeah. gold. Eh. And this. Two kills yun. And this. Mm. Um, dominance that it had in the bottom lane also came that oh, sa sabi ko na, Poisanity not having not being there to support him mm. and then of course Rocks not having the power in the early game as a Lee Sin to go in for the ganks to help that bottom lane because mm. yeah, nakita na natin nun nung nag level 6 na si uh, si Hate na nagtry nila but uh. Hofer KR just a really fast re uh, reaction of that flash nung nag flash uh, so, yung apat sila sa baba oh, uh, other, after that Parang naw nawala oh, ni mga ganks ni Rock sa bottom lane. Yun na yung parang ano nila eh. O oh, game, balik na natin, try natin. Oh, Kasi nag-6 ka na. Pero wala nangyari sa kanila. Sayang yung uh, 